Yes, ladies, that music means it's time again for another of Aunt Penny's true-to-life stories, and this is Danny standing once more in Aunt Penny's true-to-life sunlit kitchen at Yardscot. And Aunt Penny, you certainly have had a great week of baking both by the looks of these pies and icebox cookies. Well, help yourself, Danny. That's delicious cherry rhubarb pie that I cooked up earlier today, and... Mm, crust is as light and tasty as Fluffy, any I've ever... Crispy and crunchy. As crispy as any I've Melts ever in your mouth. And one thing, it doesn't sit in your stomach like a half-dollar piece either, Danny. That's thanks to chicken fat. Believe me, if it's safe in chicken fat, it's safe in your stomach. Oh, Aunt Penny is right, ladies. You take her advice and use creamy, digestible chicken fat, and you'll find that all your cooking and frying comes out just a little bit better than with anything else. Well, Aunt Penny, we're all excited. What's our true to life story about today, Aunt Penny? I think you start a new one, don't you? Yes, this is the story about a young man who went off to uh, prep school. Oh. As we look in on this little fellow, and for the sake of the story, we'll have to change his name. Because yes, this is sure. so true, it's frightening. Sure, sure. Well, anyway, we'll use the name Alfred. All right, fine. And for laughs, we'll use the last name Schaefer. Oh, I could give his real name, but I'm afraid there'd be court trouble. No, no, I wouldn't. Well, anyway, this that. Alfred, as we should call him, was up at Andover in a small New England town where he uh, first... Uh... Well, Barney, here we are at prep school. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Boy, oh boy, four years in this place. Is that how long? I thought it was just a couple of years. How long I'm going to be here by my marks? Holy criminalities. Four years in this place. Well, it couldn't be a more comfortable place to live. No, it's nice. The food is pretty good, I guess. There's lots of ivy all over the brick walls and stones. I'm going to study real high. When do you want to be when you grow up? Sound effects man. On the radio. What's that? Make the noises for the actors. Really? Yeah. That sounds exciting. A good racket. I don't know. I I want to be a doctor or a fireman or something like that. I thought I wanted to be a garbage man once, but I changed my mind. Oh, that's no good. Well, I like to travel. You and that. Well, you don't. You only travel around the same neighborhood all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not like seeing the world. That's right, Barney. What room are you in? I'm in 721. Oh, I'm in another building altogether, I guess. Oh, that's too bad. I'm over at Pinkus Hall. Well, I'll probably be uh, seeing you when we go back to the Well, between classes, anyway. Yeah. We're both taking the college preparatory. Preparatory. Yeah, we're both taking that same course, aren't we? What college do you want to go to, Barney? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Princeton, Harvard, Yale. Uh Uh-huh. Middlebury, Ohio State. Yeah. Arno. Huh? The college at Arno. Where's that? I don't know. University of Maine. I'm going to have to stop this, story, Daddy. It stinks. Well, and Penny, I was just going to say there oh. isn't much action there, even though I you really should have let them use their real names. It, it was, was a so bad. True story. I imagine with their real names, it would be even dull. Oh, my word. Well, ladies, don't forget Aunt Penny's always true advice about chicken fat. You get right. a great deal more gusto out of your eating if you use it. Yes, that's right. And remember, if you eat something that's been cooked and dipped in chicken fat, it's saturated with fat, and that's so important nowadays. And until next hey, uh, time... Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Aunt Penny, sir, we can pay today in a pig's eye. Until next time, Aunt Penny I says... I said goodbye once, oh, so oh, we should listen, oh. Danny. <laughs>